Hi, this is Mike Bonfrisco. I'm an estate planning lawyer and financial advisor in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Will my children have to pay taxes on my house after I die? This is a question I hear all the time. And the short answer is probably not, but let me explain. Okay, so first of all, we have to talk about what's called the estate tax. Now the estate tax is a tax that's incurred after you pass away. Under the federal system, that's the federal death tax, you only pay that tax if your assets are more than $11.6 million, and most families are well below that. So you're probably safe under the federal death tax or federal estate tax. Now, there's a state of New Jersey tax that could come into play, and that's called the New Jersey estate tax. The New Jersey estate tax was abolished a few years ago, so you probably don't have to worry about that as long as you're leaving your house to your spouse or your kids. So we probably don't have to worry about the estate tax. However, there's another tax we need to talk about. That's called the capital gains tax. And this tax happens when you have an asset that has appreciated over time. Real estate is one of those types of assets. So in our example, if Bill and Mary bought their house for $150,000 back in 1980. Now it's worth $350,000. Bill and Mary are worried if there's going to be a tax due to their children when the children go to sell that house after they pass away. But there's a special rule for real estate after you pass away, and that's called step up in basis. And the way that works is this. When you pass away, your real estate gets what's called a step up in basis. We get to pretend that the value of the house, $350,000, is what the children purchased the house for. We get to reset the cost of the house. So if they then go sell the house soon thereafter for $350,000, there would be no taxes due. So that's a win for this family. There would be no taxes, no capital gains taxes, and no estate taxes due, even though we sold this house for $350,000 when we only bought it for $150,000. That's a win for the family. But before I end the video, I just want to talk to you about a problem I see happening with families, and that's where they give the house to the children before they pass away. See, I'm not exactly sure why people do this. Maybe they figure it'll be more protected that way. But sometimes a family will give the house to the children before they pass away with the understanding that the children aren't going to sell it until after they pass away. All right, so they give that house that they bought a $150,000 house. They give it to their kids before they pass away. Then sometime later, Bill and Mary pass away and the kids sell it for $350,000. But guess what? They didn't get the step up in basis. This is a trap. They're stuck with the $150,000 basis. So when now when they sell it for $350,000, there's a $200,000 realized profit. That realized profit is going to be taxed. There's going to be a capital gains tax on that $200,000 in profit. That tax is probably going to be around 20%. So this family could be giving $40,000 in unnecessary taxes to the government all because they didn't understand how these taxes work. So in summary, you're probably not going to have to worry about an estate tax or a capital gains tax. But when you're planning your will or trust, you want to make sure you're working with an experienced estate planning attorney. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you.